Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And we are on Marguerite Miller Week 10, the Challenge Week 10. And for this week, we needed a piece of furniture, and I found a bed, an advertisement, which is my page, a, sh a scrap of sheet music, which is easy because I just ripped apart an old hymnal, so I have actually quite a bit of sheet music, Fire or smoke, and this one was going to be, I thought was going to be hard, um, but I was looking through uh, a magazine, um, I want to say it was the Saturday Evening Post, and there was an article on steam engines, and there's my smoke, and it's a steam engine, and I have a whole story about a steam engine, I'll tell you in a minute. Something that hangs on a string or a cord, I have my... Um, I'm a member of the Wayne County Historical Society, and I do a show up there every Christmas. We do the Holiday Bazaar, and I sell my journals as well as my Diane Hunter books, and uh, that's really cool. But I get this, and they I wear it, and uh, they'll give me a new one next year because it's always different. And, but I'm going to take my name tag out and I'm going to just do that because this is a brand new piece and I could use that elsewise as a name tag. And then the bonus is typewriter text. <coughs> Excuse me. And for that, I'm going to leave some of my book showing. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a, I put this together all by myself because I've never done a, a Marguerite Miller challenge. So I just, I took a piece of um, 12 by 12 and cut it to size. I took a just a piece of cardstock, or uh, this was the back of a, a card pack at one point. I put that on as my back piece and I made myself a notebook. And I put the right number, I put 52 pages. Actually, I put a few more than 52 pages in here just in case I goofed up something and wanted to. But I wrote a book called The Revolution of Clara Simpson and this is, it is not yet for sale. I'm still looking for a publisher for that one. Um, and in any case, this is just, um, that's a piece of it. So I want to keep, I want at least some of my, here, you know what, we're going to do this. Let's cut it here because I still have enough of the ad showing and I want really want the bed. So there we go, we'll put that here. Does it, is it too wide? No, it fits in there. Okay, so that part gets recycled. Although there's, you know, I suppose typewriter text on the inside. Um, and this is technically not typewriter, it's Times New Roman, size 12 font, um, but it is not, um, it is the same as my typewriter, if I were to use my typewriter. And I think I want my, I need to frame my picture with my smoke. I'll tell you, that, I told you, I'd tell you that story in a minute. Um, but I could cut it down a little bit. There's a little bit more of the picture than I actually need. So let me take this out. So when I was in high school, one of the things that we had to do in one of my classes was to list 10 things we wanted to do before we died. Today you would call it a bucket list. Back then it was just a list. And I got, I put all sorts of things on it. Publish a book, uh, get married, have kids. Um, I wanted to fly in a hot air balloon. I wanted to fly in an airplane. At that point I had never even flown in an airplane. I wanted to shoot a, a shotgun. Um, because I'd never shot a gun of any sort and I wanted to shoot a shotgun. I thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, anyway, I put all these things on my list. I got down to number nine. I, I had nine things. I had to have 10 and I couldn't think of anything else. And I finally decided, you know what? I know this is screwy and it's very, very weird, but I would like to fly or like to ride in the steam engine in, of a locomotive. Not in the passenger side. I wanted to ride in the engine with the engineer. And I wanted to shovel coal. Now, I'm a junior in high school at the time. 
this is starting i'm going to close that right back up again because that is oozing all over the place and i don't need it anyway i'm going to use a glue stick glue stick this is elmer's washable glue um so i put it on my list that summer i'm visiting a friend of mine at canisius lake and I think I can tell this story safely because I'm pretty sure that anything that we did is no longer, uh, you can't prosecute me for it. Let's put it that way anymore. So she had a, her parents had a cottage down on Canisius Lake and I was going down to spend a week with her. And she said, let's go, let's walk down to Lakeville because the Lakeville Livonia Avon Railroad had its, um, storage down there and she said if they're bringing the train out it's almost time for them to bring the train out they have a uh a ride that goes out of avon or out of lakeville or i don't remember where now one of the towns and anyway uh my sister's dating the engineer so he might give us a ride i said well, okay what the heck you know a train ride is kind of fun so we went down and he was just pulling it out of the garage. It wasn't a roundhouse. It was a, just a, I don't know what you call it, but he was pulling it out and he saw us and he stopped and he said, how are you girls doing? Cause he knew my, my friend. And I, he said, we, my friend said, can we get a ride? And he said, sure, hop in the back and the passenger section. And I said, actually, I've always wanted to ride in the steam engine of a locomotive. And he said, oh, well, in that case, hop on up, because he was the engineer. I said, really? Can I shovel coal? He said, no, because that's a liability thing. But you can ride with me as passengers if you sit in that seat and you don't move. So he pointed to one of the seats, and I sat down, and I was like, this is it. I am riding in the steam engine of a locomotive. And I we rode all the way to Avon from the where the from Lakeville. And then we had to get off and get in the passenger side because there were some other people that were coming on and he said, I don't want to get in trouble. And I said, no problem. You know, the two of us got in the back and we rode back. Um, uh, and it was just amazing to sit there in the steam engine and watch him pulling his levers and doing all of this stuff and driving the train. It was so cool. And I thought to myself, okay, if the last thing I put on that list as a lark came true, all of them can come true. I can do all of these things. I can fly in a plane at some point. I can ride in a hot air balloon. I can do all of this stuff. Well, I'm going to tell you, I have done uh, eight of the things on that list. Two of them. I don't think they're going to happen. One of them was to go into outer space. I don't think I'm going to get into outer space. I was kind of hoping we'd have space travel by this point, but I'm 67 years old and we're starting to run out of time. I know William Shatner went up and he was, he was in his eighties, but I don't think that's something I'm going to be able to do. So I don't think that particular one of my top 10 things to do before I die is going to happen. That's okay. I'm all right with it. I'm leaving this part open, remember. I suppose I, that also works, but... <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat. So, yeah. So I rode in the steam engine of a locomotive. And, by the way, yes, I have ridden in a hot air balloon. Um, my husband did a director... He, was, he directed a church show for a group a while back. And they couldn't pay him, but the pastor has a hot air balloon. He's a hot air balloonist. And he said, I'll tell you what, I'll take you and your wife up for a ride in, in the balloon, and that will be your payment. And I said, do it, do it, do it, do it. That will be so much fun. So he did. And that's so we did. We went up. Because this is blue and has a lot of blue in it, I'm going to grab my blue... Um, Hang on, I gotta grab my blue ink. There it is. I had to think where I put it. It's right here. This is faded jeans. And uh, 
we went up in a hot air balloon and saw the Finger Lakes. We saw, I think, five Finger Lakes from the hot top of the hot air balloon. It was just, that was incredible. We went so high and then we came down and skimmed the tops of the trees. <clears throat> and he pulled off the top of a tree for me. Just, you know, a couple leaves from the very, very tip top of the tree. It was very, very neat. Um, so I'm going to tell you, if you have not yet made a, a bucket list, make a list of 10 things you want to do before you die. And then you have something to work for. You, they actually, you do them. You actually will do them. Okay. Do I want to cover up my $4.99? I don't want to cover up my, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry about that. Well, yeah, that frog. Gotta get rid of it. Okay, I think I'm gonna put you here. I wonder if I want to do something fancy with the. No, it's it's something you would actually have hanging from a cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. I know what I'm gonna do. Um, the other one that I wanted to do that I probably won't do is to hike the Appalachian Trail in its entirety. My girlfriend, who also put that on her list, had actually done it. She hiked from, uh, she did it in a couple of sections. She didn't do it all at once. Um, I think she had to do it over two summers. And she went from Georgia or from Maine down to Georgia, I believe, was the was the direction that she headed. And um, I think that's just so cool that she did it. I have hiked a very short section of it in um, Harper's Ferry, but I have not ever done the whole thing. And I don't think I ever will at this point in my life. Not with two different. I have two new knees. And although that makes it. A little bit okay it still makes it a little hard I am going to do something a little bit weird here I'm gonna cut that in I don't want all that white space so we'll let our now that does say it says something that hangs on a string or a cord Here's my blue. I'm going to go ahead and I'm getting ink all over me right now. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to go quiet on you. I'm just thinking. Okay, that's there. I think we'll go ahead and put this right down here. There we go. And I want to make it look like there's a string or a cord on there. So I have um, a little bit of, that's too thin. I do have some yarn here that might work. Let me find the end of my yarn. And I think I'm just going to put a piece of that on here. Because it hangs, it's supposed to hang from a string or a cord. You know, that would have been the smart thing to do. I wonder if it's, I could still do it. Hang on. Watch this. We can do this. Put a hole right through that. Ha! I can make it happen. I'm a journaler. I can make it happen. So, a piece of furniture is the bed. An advertisement is this whole piece. A scrap of sheet music. Fire or smoke. Something that hangs on a string or cord. And typewriter text. I even have a little number down there in the corner. This is from early on, obviously, in the book, page 10. All right, you heard my story, and there's my 
Marguerite Miller Challenge, week nine or week 10. Oh my glory, we're up to week 10 already. And um, I'm having a lot of fun with these. I don't know if, I think I'm learning a little bit more about layering and um, mm, it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Uh, YouTube likes it when you like it. And if you want a notification for when the next video comes out, just click on the bell. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.